Hi, um, I'm Ann Lieberman. I'm a senior scholar at Stanford University. But my real career was at Teachers College Columbia uh, in New York City. And I've always been interested, since I was a sixth grade teacher, in how teachers learn their stuff in schools. And now, the nice term for it now is teacher knowledge. But I began really by trying to say, look to the research community, that they're not getting what teachers really know. And in those days, um, nobody was interested. People just wanted numbers, and they, um, they never really got close to what it is that teachers knew. So now I realize that my whole career has been spent trying to figure out how to get teachers' knowledge into um, the whole understanding of what it means to teach, and of course, what it means to teach well. And it got me into the whole area of professional development, and that is how do teachers learn new things? Uh, since, of course, teachers are always learning things, how do they learn it? How do they share it? How do they work with other people? And it got me into a variety of all kinds of other interests. But what I'd really like to talk about is probably the best professional development idea in my life. Uh, and I am getting to the end of my career, and this may be the best project that I have ever been involved in. It's called the Teacher Learning and Leadership Program, TLLP. And it's in Ontario, Canada. And it came about because in before 2003, the Conservatives were in uh, Ontario, and they uh, had a very tough relationship with teachers. They made a lot of demands. They were very punitive. And so the teachers' unions, there are four of them, and a, and a teachers' federation, basically decided they would do nothing that the government asked them to do. And in 2003, there was a huge election, and the liberals got in and said, we think teachers are professionals, and we're going to work with teachers to help them improve and learn together. And they abrogated everything that the conservatives had asked them to do. And so in 2003, <clears throat> there was a new era in Ontario and as luck would have it, one of the people there knew me and they said, would you come and give the keynote speech? And by this time, they had formed a working party. And the working party consisted of people in the Ministry of Education and the Ontario Teachers Federation, which was the teachers' unions. And this is an unprecedented idea, perhaps in most places in the world, where the policy people and the people who do the work and practice have come together to create a program. And in 2007, I was the keynote speaker talking about everything we now know about teacher leadership and how teachers learn to teach one another and how it's become almost a worldwide um, idea, in part because we now understand, and I think the public realizes, that teachers are more sensitive to the complexity of what it means to be a teacher than people from the outside. And what this program really is about is that teachers write a proposal. And the proposal is to do professional development in their own school. The suggestion is to do it with another person or a team. And they have to write a budget. And originally the budget was from one to $10,000. It has now been upped, and there are people who get as much as $50,000 to do their work, depending upon uh, how far it reaches. And there are three big ideas that the ministry and the federation are interested in. What did you learn? What did you learn about leadership? And how are you sharing what you learned with other people? And so what we now have, um, after I'm the keynote speaker, I've been the keynote speaker every year, 
About the third year, I began to press for the fact that I thought we needed to have some research here because nobody would believe this because it seems so successful. And I pushed and pushed, and the ministry finally said, okay, and we have now done three years worth of research, and 85% of the uh, teachers work with another person or a team, and there is an amazing um, acceptance of this as the greatest professional development that ever, people have ever had. And I think what we've learned finally, maybe, is that te when teachers do professional development, just because they are teachers, they deal with the complexity of what it means to learn something in your classroom. And these are teachers who are still working full time, and they do this above and beyond their teaching duties. So there are two big conferences. The first one <clears throat> is um, really where all the people who win for the year come together as a cohort, uh, and they, there are a variety of workshops. How do you get back to your own school? You now have $10,000 or $15,000 to do professional development. How are you going to face your colleagues? How are you going to deal with conflict? How do you actually manage a project above and beyond your teaching? Uh, so there are a variety of workshops that people attend. And then during the year, if there are any bumps or problems, either the ministry or the Ontario, a representative from the Ontario Teachers Federation is there to support the teachers. So what we have is an amazing professional development program initiated by teachers. And in the process, teachers actually learn a lot about what it means to lead with their own colleagues. And we are just writing our third research piece now. And part of what they learn is how you manage a project. How do you have an idea? And by the way, the idea has to be somehow consonant with the provincial goals of your province. Uh, and so it's not any old idea. And more and more people are um, looking at technology since technology is huge and it's difficult to get technology into schools in part because even though people may have computers and iPhones and, and uh, you know, iPads, is this in some ways disrupts you know, what it is I'm teaching. I know what to do when I use books and all that stuff. I'm not sure what I use when I use technology. So the technology stuff is very interesting too. Sometimes teachers simply find apps and they and their students figure out how to use them. And of course, you, you might imagine that kids are so excited about the use of technology. Differentiated staffing is big, literacy is big. These are the areas that most teachers um, are, feel like they can improve upon. And so what we're learning is when you create the conditions for teachers to learn, and give them the power and the means, they do incredible things in professional development for themselves and their colleagues. Uh, and TLLP, I now feel, is gonna travel throughout the world. Uh, we are just in the process of writing a book, so everything that I'm saying and much more will be included in the book about how teachers learn to lead by creating professional development, getting supported both financially uh, and emotionally and professionally uh, to actually do some incredible things. In some cases, uh, teachers have created professional learning communities in their school. In other cases, teachers have learned, uh, elementary teachers, I, I was one. Uh, most of us knew very little about math uh, and the math projects are actually um, uh, extremely successful where teachers are learning a variety of strategies on how to uh, increase their math knowledge. Uh, and what I think this shows us is it gives one great example that's been going long enough where both the policy people and the practitioners are learning how to use money how to manage a project, how to start from the inside 
rather than the outside, which is the traditional means for professional development. A superintendent or a principal hires somebody from the outside, brings them in to somehow teach up the teachers. This turns it and flips it on its head and said, no, let's start from an insider who knows what it is that the school needs, knows how to connect to his or her colleagues in school, and gets the money and the support to actually do it for a year, and now has joined a larger and larger network of other teachers who are in fact doing this. We may find out that this um, is the way to do professional development that matters, that is sustained, and in fact helps more and more people, not just in your own school, but beyond. And teachers also learn how to lead their colleagues in ways where they develop expertise in particular areas that they are more than willing to share with their colleagues.